Boy, we're talking howling winds, but they whipped up a lot of damage across Southern California. The strong gusts have knocked out power and knocked down trees in many places. We have live team coverage. We begin with CBS 2's Candace Crown, who's in West LA, where a giant tree toppled across the street, blocking traffic. And Jeff and Sharon, you can see the damage behind me. Take a look. That tree fell on three cars, including that red one you see there. It also hit some power lines. Well, right now, utility crews and tree removal uh, workers are out here trying to restore service and clear the road. Cleanup crews sawed branch after branch in an effort to remove a massive tree that toppled over in this West LA neighborhood last night. I saw just sparks all over on the, um, the, the pole, the telephone line, and everything went black. The tree hit utility lines, knocking out power and cable to several people who live near Ohio and Butler Avenues. Neighbors say they heard the fierce winds, then minutes later, cracking sounds. From our residents, it's just howling winds. I mean, we're on a, like a third level, so when they really start blowing hard, it's just, you can, you can hear it. It's like a train. This wasn't the only tree knocked down by the wind. Over on Sunset Boulevard and Seward Street, part of this tree was nearly split in half and fell on this new BMW. And on San Vicente Boulevard near Barrington, another one fell across the road, blocking part of the street. Neighbors who were out and about say they're constantly keeping their heads up and being alert in case other trees come tumbling down. Think about, well, do we really want to go out in this, you know, um, because it, there could be issues, you know, with down trees and power lines and just safety aspects. And no word yet on when the power will be, dis uh, will be restored. Despite all the damage, fortunately, nobody was hurt. Jeff and Sharon. Thank goodness for that. Candace, thank you. We continue our team coverage with CBS 2's Car Finstrom. She's live in Beverly Hills with a look at the damage there. Yeah, Jeff, everyone on this block, extremely grateful nobody was hurt because take a look at the size of the tree that came tumbling down last night. Crews went to work early this morning, cutting up and lifting an 80-foot high pine tree off a multi-million dollar Beverly Hills home. We just heard like a this loud, you know, sound like like a big accident. Giovanni Garcia does security work on the block. He saw a man rush out of the back of the home looking for help. He realized, you know, the uh, the tree was like uh, right on the top of the house, you know, and he couldn't get out. That man did get out safely. Fire crews and a building inspector then checked the home and yellow tagged it, which means for now access is limited. Powerful gusts have toppled trees all across our viewing area. Cars were crushed in Sherman Oaks and in South LA. It, it was a disaster waiting to happen. Neighbor Peggy Pollock says she was concerned about the trees eroding bark and emailed the city a picture of it when another pine toppled near her house, narrowly missing it. I told the city when they came out two years ago to please look at the other trees, and they did remove two other trees. And a city representative says they're now taking a closer look at all the trees here on Lexington Road. We just spoke with the homeowner. He and his wife just returned. He says there were four people at home when this tree came crashing down, and he's very grateful to city crews who went in and brought them out safely. And I saw this huge tree going back and forth, and I never seen anything like that in my life. And then it, boom, it made a, like an atomic noise. It was so scary, and thank God nothing happened to us, and I want to thank Beverly Hills Police Department and the Chief of the Fire Department. So Jeff and Sharon, obviously a lot of cleanup here to do, but again, the homeowner stressing he is just glad that his family is safe.